Oh, boys! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do I have a video for you guys today? Peter, dog, what, up, what, are, up? what are we doing? We got kind of an exciting video today, we right? We're going to the pawn shop. Yeah. We got to pick us a little surprise. Yeah. And then we're taking it somewhere to do something with it. Yeah? So we're pawn shopping today. So let's go ahead, hop in the truck, climb up in here real quick. And let me tell y'all what we're getting into. Now, the goal today is to, A, find an awesome gun at a pawn shop for Peter to shoot his very first hog with. Now, we're going to be pawn shopping today looking for a good gun. I don't really know exactly what we want yet. Shotgun or rifle. We might be spot and stock, and we're not 100% sure how we're going to shoot a hog yet. But uh, we got to get that figured out. We'll probably figure it out once we see the gun and be like, ah, oh, yeah, that'll work perfect. But we got to run to some pawn shops. We're going to be pawn shopping looking for a good deal. And once we find the gun, we got to find ammo, get it sighted in and take it hunting we're gonna be shooting a hog today so uh guys stay tuned let's roll up to the first pawn shop oh man and just like that we have made it to the first pawn shop baby so we're actually at american pawn and gun peter what you thinking you think you think this place is gonna have our, our gun that we're gonna need i think so but if yeah not, we got a couple more now we're gonna be pawn shopping at a bunch of pawn shops today but uh go ahead walk in here let's we'll see what they got Peter, buddy, what do you what do you see? We got a lot of options. This place is loaded. American Pawn and Gun. We've been here before. This is where I bought my 50 BMG. Super sick. Let's see. I'm trying to see what we got here. Is that an air gun? What is that? I think that is an air gun. That that is an air gun. No shit. Found what? You said what? Nuke the rest. <laughs> Nuke them. <laughs> thinking shotgun or are we thinking something more classic? I don't know. They got an AK. That's a nice AK, but I got two AKs at the house. I want something different, something new. See, I want to look at the zombie apocalypse again. I got to. That one just... I got to. He has some clearance. <laughs> really? <laughs> what's cracking, buddy? Yeah, Long right. time no see, huh? Yeah. So what's the zombie apocalypse gun? I'm curious. All right. So that's something that came in here that was kind of crappy. Uh -huh. And then we had the armor division make it into a Negan bat. Negan. So that. It's a wall hanger essentially. But can we can we see it? Oh yeah, it's single shot 12 gauge. Single shot. Does it fire? Yeah. No way. <laughs> it's pretty neat, dude. That is neat. So you crack it up here. It holds all the way down too, don't it? Put it in your pocket. Pocket gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> still carry action. <laughs> Look, you got it crossed out. All the zombies you killed, dude. That thing. Uh, that's pretty unique. <laughs> we'll think on it. You got that 50 cal air gun. 50 cal air gun. Shot. What do they make? Though? 50 cal air guns that shoot arrows and stuff nowadays too. Pretty cool. We're going hog hunting. So I would recommend this one here. Six five Grendel AR. Oh, six five Grendel. Yeah. This okay. is. Okay. Hmm. Pretty sweet looking gun. What's the shotgun over here? The red one. Oh, that's a used Remington Versamax, I believe. Versamax? Hey, Peter, you take a look at her. Used, Pretty neat. Ass. Yeah. You tell they were loading shells in it. Good lord. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that yeah let's see the way I look. That dude was shooting, so. The competition shot was it. Yeah. Oh, man. What do we get? <laughs> Yo, can we see that pintail real quick? That thing is sick, bro. It actually is pretty bad. Hell yeah. So we're coming out of American Pond and Gun, and uh, I was leaving, and then I seen the wood ducks, and I was like, that's gonna look so badass in a man cave one day. And uh, my boy in there gave me a hell of a deal, so we got that little dude. We got a big old pintail. That thing sweet, is dude. sick. We actually got a really great deal on no, them. A really good deal. American Pond and Gun, man. They're looking out for you. If you guys want to pick up a gun, uh, a lot of cool guns, but nothing we were looking for. We had most of the stuff in there already, but uh, I think it was an absolute score on the ducks, dude. I'm actually pretty stoked about them. Those are gonna look so sick in a man cave. Let's start the truck up and head to the next store. And there's a store up the road not far from here that's also been pretty good. This place doesn't have a ton of guns, but they have nice guns. This place we're going to has a ton of guns and you just don't know what they're gonna have. They have a lot of older wood guns in there. I don't know if it's anything we're looking for, but we're gonna go check it out because the store's pretty cool. So uh, let's head there. All right, boys, so we just made it to Beltway Gun and Pond. So uh, let's walk in here. Let's see what they got. This place always has a ton of guns. So uh, Pete, what are your predictions? We gonna find something? Maybe. 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 Go right ahead, buddy.
Peter, buddy, right. what are you thinking? They have so they much. They have it. Look, look. They this place nice is guns. loaded. Yeah, and they're this all nice. This place is look, loaded. Turn around. Look at this, look at this shit. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, Beltway, bro, has so many firearms. Check it. They're just everywhere. It's look just at the cool They're stuff, everywhere. Man. Look at all these old guns. So Beltway has a lot of older stuff. Super cool. Well, they got some new stuff, too. Super yeah. cool. I mean, like, check this stuff out. Holy crap. Every time I walk in here, I just sit here and I walk around and I look for hours. They're such good stuff with pretty fair prices. It's just cool, man. Like, you look at some of these old guns. Turn around and show these. Like, look at all this stuff. It's just loaded. These have stories, and I wish oh, yeah. I could hear them. Hey, Peter, I think uh, we need that one for the Hawks. <laughs> we go back to the store and get the I got, bomb? I think I got something. Come here, come here. I think I got something. Okay. You ever play Call of Duty Zombies? No. No? no. Well, the RPK, baby. I've never it's an absolute huge gun and uh, it puts some hurt on some hogs. It's pretty freaking cool. We'll get a guy to bring it out and show it to us. Hold on. You want me to set it up for you with the. Yeah, that'd be sick. That thing is dope. <laughs> what you think, Peter? That's Insane, man. That thing is huge. No freaking way. So this just shoots 7.62, correct? Mm hmm Just like an AK. Mm hmm Oh, Call of Duty gun right here. Hell yeah. What you think? It's a it's a possibility. Here, I'll take a little little peek at it. Oh, buddy, you could smoke some pigs with this. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. No issue. Now, does it come with a big drum mag? I could probably find a drum mag for you to fit on there. A drum mag? Yeah. That much money I can find a drum mag to go on there. So I just sit here, go talk to the big man to see what kind of price he can get on it. Yeah, that's right. I'm always searching for a deal, I'm trying to make sure these pawn shops are good for you guys. That way, so far it's been pretty good. I've been here once or twice before, and it's just always loaded with guns. Oh yeah, no, that the thing's quality. That's the zombie. That's the gun you wanted in zombies. If you didn't have the ray gun, you wanted this. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. These damn games. <laughs> It's honestly just like a huge AK, but it's RPK. How old do you think this is? I have no clue. I could not tell you how old it is. It's just one of those like sick looking guns, dude. Oh yeah. What do you think? I think we could shoot a pig with this. I think joker. we could shoot a pig with it. <laughs> so you actually adjust these sights up here and you have to have a special tool. Luckily, I was going through all my gun stuff and I found my AK sight tool. So we can sight it in if we get it. It's looking pretty good. But I have one more shop that I really want to go to. So we're not sure yet. We might have to circle back, but uh, see what kind of price we get on it. Oh boys, we're leaving and we do not have the RPK. We got one more gun store to check out. So my buddy actually recently opened up a gun store that it's called Anton's. Real local to me. And I know he's got one gun that I've been wanting, but I haven't had an excuse to buy it. So his store is actually closed right now. They open tomorrow, but I texted him, any chance you're around the store today? He's like, yeah, I will be around four. So we might wait until he opens up and uh, go see what he's got. Now his store's not going to be set up or nothing, but uh, he'll be able to pull all the guns out. I actually got a lot of stuff there that is mine that I bought and I'm waiting on whether it's pistol permits or I'm letting him put on display, you know, yada, yada, yada. But a uh, super great guy. We'll go check out his store, but the RPK is still an option. I hate not leaving with it, but the price is just a little on the high side for me. So uh, I think we're gonna go grab lunch, give it some thought and uh, we'll pick you guys up. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the final stop for today. We're coming up on Anton. So Anton actually started his company in his basement and he's finally got a shop. He's located in Monroe, North Carolina. This is probably my favorite gun store in North Carolina that I'm aware of. I spend so much money here. Let's go ahead and enter. Where's that at? Bad buddy. What's cracking, dude? Hey, you, Doing pretty good. So you opened the store just for us? Yes, lunch? sir. Just for y'all. Good to What's see you. How are you today? I see they uh they actually got the 50 BMG up on display. So if you guys want to come check it out, the 50 BMG, my 50 BMG is up on display here. It is for sale. If you're interested, it's for sale here at Anton's. So Thad, buddy, trying to shoot some hogs. What are we going to shoot with? I, I don't know. What you thinking? There's plenty of guns to choose from, am I right? The 50's out. We've done something like that. <laughs> Uh, Honey Badger 300 Blackout yeah. Suppressed. Ooh, Suppressed. Mark 18. The new Galil yeah. Micro from Icon Weapons. Over Holy Mount shit. Gilead. I have not seen that yet. That is sick. When did you get this in? Last weekend. The Galil, huh? Galil Micro. That was a big Call of Duty gun. I don't know about the Micro. I've never seen a Micro. That's pretty sick. Now, I did have a gun in mind, and I was thinking the Tavor. I've been looking for an excuse to pick up one of these things. Those are pretty cool guns. Very good, great guns in Modern Warfare 2. I feel like I keep making gaming references. <laughs> <laughs> the new hog hunter? The Wilson Combat. Uh huh. 300 hammer. Really? Suppressed. I bet that thing's sick. So if you guys are looking to get a suppressor, Anton's actually makes it super easy. Now I always thought it was this big, long, hard, drawn out process and it was to get suppressors, but he's got plenty of them in stock and you can walk in here, fill out all the paperwork, get all the paperwork done for the suppressors and uh, it takes 30 minutes. Fingerprints, pictures, everything is done here in house. You can walk in and out within 30 minutes and have your suppressors ordered and then it's like, what, 120 day waiting period? I got four on the way. I cannot freaking wait. What do you think about these little bad boys? Oh, I like them. Yeah, little Ooh. lever actions. I don't know how we're gonna do on those iron sights with that hog. Yeah, what caliber are these? 38, 357. 38 or 357. Oh, they shoot both. Yep. 357 or 38. Yeah, That's interesting. Trying 
trying to think. We got a lot of guns to pick from. He always has new stuff coming in. It's always so sick. So Thad just informed me. He's got something in the back he wants to show me. I might have to pick up an MP5. These things are sick. There's so many different options. What, what we got going on? <laughs> no shit. I was just telling him about the MPK. Okay, let me set this. This thing's kind of heavy. <laughs> okay, this thing's kind of sick. When'd you get this in? Three weeks ago. I forgot it's been. You in haven't even put it in. It's I haven't seen high. it in the back, man. I haven't even brought it out. Just waiting for me or just what? Wait. Top charge. Five, five, six, two, two, three. Five, five, six, two, two, three. Yeah. Really? Converted. What does this one run you? Uh, 1850 with the bot pod. Huh. Not bad. That's really not at all. That's pretty cool. I want to know how heavy it is. This gun's a lot like the other one we were looking at earlier today. The other one's like about the AK-47 style platform. But uh, this is kind of sick. I don't have a Galil. Nobody does. Nobody's got Galils. Nobody's got Galils right here. That's pretty freaking cool right there, son. Hell, we got a lot of options. Let me get to think. Boys, I think I've decided. I think we're just gonna go ahead, go with the Tavor. I've been looking for an excuse to buy one of these things. These things are super sick. So it was between the Galil or the Tavor, but I can always come back for it. I've been looking for an excuse for one of these things for a long time. I know these things are super accurate. They're a bull pump, so they're really short. Super cool guns, super unique, but we're gonna have to match it up with a red dot or something. So I don't know, Peter. Yeah. We could be crawling in there and shooting a pig at 100 yards, could. but we could be sitting in the stands and shooting them at 20. Yeah. So. And it's a 556, so we need to hit them in the head. Yeah. Probably the Holliston with the magnifier. So if they are out there, you can just flip can over the magnifier and send one down range, right? Yeah, if we gotta adjust it, we yeah. said you can do it. Yeah. So, so uh, maybe we'll pick up this right here. We'll have old boy throw it on the Tavor and uh, see what this thing looks like. Getting that uh, special backroom treatment. Here at Anton's, they actually do a bunch of concealed carry classes. I came here and took the class. They got a gunsmith here and they also, they don't do the Cerakote in here, but you can get guns Cerakoted here. So basically that. Anything they want done, they can get done, Anything. right? One Anything. One stop shop, 100%. This is the McDonald's of the gun world. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing's gonna look good. It'll shoot good it. too. I just wanna be there when you shoot it. <laughs> well boys, we got it set up, ready to roll. That's Buddy, it, what, what do you think about the new hunting rig? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. It is. This thing is absolutely sick. So, we got the Holison on there and we got the magnifier so you can flip the magnifier in or out. So if you flip it out, it's just a red dot. Flip it in. I think it's got, what, a 3X zoom? Maybe? Something like that. Super cool gun. Now this being a bull pump, the action's behind the trigger and everything, so it's super short. You can maneuver it so easily because this thing's so short. That thing looks badass, dude. Overall, it's probably like 26 inches. Yeah, it's not that long. It's a rifle. What do you think about it? I like it. Safety is just like an AR right there on the thumb. Mag release, ambidextrous. Your bolt drops, ambidextrous. Everything but the charging handle. The charging handle can get moved to the other side. Last thing we gotta do before we go hog hunting, we gotta go get this thing sighted in. Bad. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it's it. Absolutely Good awesome. This thing's gonna smoke some hogs tonight. And uh, let's go get it sighted in, boys. Well, boys, we have made it down to the deer club. We're going to sight in these guns. Well, we're going to sight in the new gun. We got to sight in the Tavor. I got some ammo for it. I got some FMJs just to get it on paper. And then our hollow points that we'll be using for hunting. And I also brung the scar. My buddy Joe, he texted me earlier today. You guys know him because he let us shoot that doe with the 50 BMG on his property. And he texted me earlier today. And he's like, hey, I'm going to need you to come shoot some hogs. The hogs are at his feeder. I think it's the same group of hogs from my feeder, which is a mile away. And we we're supposed to hunt them tonight. So uh, we're going to hunt both feeders. We'll ride in, spot and stock. Basically, both feeders and see if we can find a pig. I've never done this. This is going to be very interesting. The reason why I brung the scar. Peter, what's the real mission today, buddy? It's like the absolute top priority. Yeah, yeah. Shoot a hog. Shoot a hog. You need to shoot your first hog. Yeah. That's the goal. Hopefully the big, the big one. Yeah. The feeder where we shot the doe with the 50 BMG, it's about a 200 yard shot. So the scar, it's got a one to six scope on it. It's a 308 caliber gun. So uh, it should get the job done. The little 556, five, that's really poking it for it. But uh, I'll let Peter shoot that and maybe I'll try to shoot one with this. But Joe just texted me and he said they are at the feeder right now check this out i'm pretty sure the reason why i think this is our group is because you got the one big pig that is the one big pig the one big mama i haven't shot yet and that peter was supposed to shoot i'm about positive it's the same group so we're gonna go there first they're there now and we got to get these guns sighted in so as you guys can see we got a target set up down yonder so uh this tavor pretty sick let's go ahead drop this mag i know the scar is kind of already on let's take a couple of these fmjs just cheap rounds go ahead throw these in the mag we'll throw five in there i've never shot one of these guns i'm looking forward to shooting it but we are in a rush we're gonna lose daylight here in about 45 minutes and we got to get a gun sighted in and go kill a pig i'd rather not have to shoot one at night let's go ahead slap this mag into here throw on some hearing protection make sure she's on safety 
Ow! Well, one's loaded. Take off this cover. Definitely for sighting in, we're gonna use the magnifier. Let's go ahead, throw her off safe, and send the first round. Turn the red dot on, that helps. Go see where those hit real quick. I was aiming for the middle second down. I need to get this thing pretty dialed because I'd rather just drop one in their tracks and shoot them in the noggin. Oh, dude, dialed. I haven't even turned a sight. I was aiming right there and look at that. That's pretty good. Two inches good. high. Hell yeah. Since I know we're on paper, we're going to switch over to the hollow points. Get in that black dot, shoot the scar, and then we're off to kill some pigs, baby. Now we're going to go ahead and send this sight down. Well, that's the wrong size. Go ahead and move this sight a couple clicks. Should put us in the spot, baby. Lock and load. Send another. Let's go see where that hit, baby. Let's see here. Huh, we got two a little to the right and one in the dot. To be honest, that magnifier, it doesn't magnify as much as I thought. It works, but uh, I was kind of expecting it to be a little more zoomed in than that. Being where that tight, after shooting this thing, I don't think we're going to shoot at a piggy with it at 200 yards, but we still have the scar as a backup. So uh, let's get that dialed in. We will be using the Tavor, the new little gun, baby. We will be using that at the other stand, and we are hunting both stands no matter if we shoot a pig at the 200 yard feeder or not. We're going to try to hit both stands before dark. So I'm going to go ahead, just double check, make sure the scar sighted in and i'll pick you guys up after and we'll go try kill a pig baby hey peter what? you learn anything wear a camo hat. hat no it's not even wear a camo hat wear anything other than white <laughs> Well, boys, we made it down here to my buddy's property. We got the guns out. I guess I'm gonna be carrying the Tavor and uh, we'll put Peter on the scar. Shooting that paper, I'm not really impressed with either of their triggers. So I think getting as close as possible is gonna be the ticket. We'll walk down this hill, start creasing over it. And if we see them, belly crawl to them. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready. Throw on the big lens, get these guns loaded up. And let's go see if we can kill one. So we gotta walk down this power line. Like I told you guys last time we were here. That looks silly with the GoPro or what? I look asleep with a spray painted black hat. Anyway, but we gotta walk 250 yards down this hill and back up and we're gonna crease the top and the feeder's gonna be down another 200 yards. Quite the shot. I might shoot with the 5.56 after his gun goes off. That's some follow-ups. Yeah, if you guys can see, it's quite a freaking perfect scenario because we can come up, sneak up on there and we see exactly what they're at, where they're at and what they're doing. Hopefully they're down there still. Guess we'll just have to see. Let's get to walking. Now the wind is wrong, but it's blowing so slow. I think we're gonna have pretty fair chance. Hogs, they have terrible eyesight, but great noses. The wind's kind of blowing towards them. They're gonna be downwind of us, but there's barely any wind. So it's one of those things. They get a whiff of us, they're gone, but we're just gonna have to try. We need to get in range. So belly crawling through this grass, it's tall enough till we find a rattlesnake. Anyhow, let's go. Once we get to that tree, we'll be able to see what we're dealing with. Everybody just be on their toes, move slow. Looks like we got some deer down there. No hogs. So now the question is, do we wait here and see if these hogs come back? Or do we go to the other stand where I thought the hogs were going to be? It's a mile away from here. And if that's the same group of hogs, there's no way that they're going to get back there before dark. This would be a whole lot easier if my cell cam was working over there. <laughs> so we actually got... Damn, I look goofy. So we actually got four deer down here. No hawks. Right down there, there's the deer. Yeah, you can see them pretty good right now. Look at them things down there. It looks like they just came in, but uh, no hogs. I'm not sure what to do. So looking at the picture, these hogs are a little more brown. Yes, there's one big one and a lot of smaller ones, like the group over at my land. But four or five months ago, we had a brown pig, big brown mama with a litter to leave the group on my property. So maybe that's this group and my group is still over there. So I'm thinking we hop in the defender, we circle around, that feeder should have hogs there right now there's deer here we'll go over there see if hogs are there if they are shoot them and then come back over here so let's go hop in the defender all right boys we've made it to the next spot got the tavor we got the scar it's gonna be good if we can't get in close to these pigs we will use the scar i don't want to wound a pig or nothing but uh if we can get in close enough the tavor is gonna be the money maker hopefully, what you thinking hopefully the freaking here man trying to get peter on his first pig it's always trouble it is trouble none of the cameras were working so we were coming in here off a shot in the dark anyway but they should have been here i guess we don't know until we go look so let's go look wind could not be better we're coming up on the tree line now we're gonna enter these woods and those pigs are gonna be about 100 yards from us 120 yards maybe but with all the shrubbery it's gonna be hard to see them so we're just gonna have to work super slow by the time we can actually lay eyes on them we're probably gonna be within 60 yards super slow inch by inch until like we get there Put it behind the shoulder of the biggest pig and squeeze off. 
If I tell you, all right. If I tell you, all right, pick the biggest pig and shoot. Find it, shoot, I'm gonna shoot after you, okay? Of course the new gun doesn't shoot. You hit him? I put him on him, dude. I have one that walked out right in front of the tree. It wasn't even the big one, but that's all I had. Pull that mag. Oh, jam up. Hell yeah. I see the tree I shot him at. Dude, I was blocked by a thousand trees. I could see him, but I didn't have a shot. Look at this. Look at this shit. See down in there? Damn gun. Double fed. It didn't eject when I went to eject that one. Or if I got him, he about 80 pounds. It was the only one I could see. Uh, if you got him, if you hit him. Dude, that was perfect. I don't really think so. It worked out exactly like we wanted it to, but the gun didn't go off, of course. We got 35 yards from him. The only clear spot I see man is that one big pine tree and that one stepped out just a shoulder then i shot but everything else in front of the feeder you can't see nothing i could have shot about four and you shot and then the gun didn't go off and i was like shit only one i could shoot man is the one i shot dude what is going on? new gun huh there it is two of them it fed one and i went to eject it because it didn't go off yeah and then it, it double fed because it didn't pull it out of the chamber man that is my luck bro only one big one i laid eyes on one one time and i was like that's the big pig and i was like peter in the back this one came out and busted us and i was like peter get a shot off on one when you can and uh before he could find one to get a shot off on they spooked i don't know if they're starting to come back in or trying to cross they all went like 10 feet away from the feeder and stopped and that's when that one walked out and i mean look right here you can really see the big tree i shot at this does not make sense well, if you hit them, you hit them with a 308. So. Yeah, I should see blood in this tree right here. You gotta rack this thing hard for it to actually rack in. Hello, boys. Peter got a shot off the brand new gun. Malfunctioned on us. That's wonderful. See if we can't find any blood. Hey, right here. Where was he at? Right here. Are you positive? Yeah, I promise you. Right here. Not looking good. Start looking for blood. Try not to step in any. I mean, how confident are you on the shot? He was there. I put it on him. Look. Look at my angle. This is all I had. So you sure it came by this tree? He stepped out. All I could see was his shoulders came out about right yeah. here. And that's where I shot. Well, you don't want to step in all the blood. So. I don't see any. Well, boys, I'm about to pull out the spotlight and start looking for blood. <sighs> Man, dude, I would have killed that that big lead pig when they were coming across, but freaking gun jam, son. I'm looking, Peter. It's not looking too bright. <laughs> you gotta look a little harder. Come here. Huh? Come here. What? You Come got here. blood? <laughs> Don't fall, bro. Bro, is that a lung or a heart? What is that? What? What is that? Oh, that that would be. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's lung. There's bubbles coming out of it. He's dead, baby. <laughs> that's what oh, I'm yeah. talking about. Dude. Let's go. Yeah, there's blood right there. Right there. Yeah, that 308 put a hurt, and he's spraying. Yeah, it's gonna be an easy, quick blood trail. All right, we got right here. Right here, all over there. Right yeah, this is gonna be uh, a quick trail, I can tell already. Oh, I mean, you can see exactly where he ran. I mean, look at this. Dude, it's ridiculous. He's torn. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, yeah. It ain't gonna be long. Look at this, Very man. Good. He's gonna be laying right. Is that him? Is that him right there? Well, the blood's going that way. Yep. Like He's gonna bleed out. That's him. <laughs> is that him right That's there? That's him. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go. Dude, look at him, man. This is a little baby. Oh, yeah. Dude, the flies have already got to him. It's so hot. Little That's a baby. good shot, dude. No, dude, it's, it's not bad. Him. Thanks, man. Man. Get behind your piggy, bro. I never really picked out the big one until they ran across. I thought I seen a big one. I was like, Peter, in the back. But you couldn't lay eyes I on him. Tail, I saw man. Them. That's it. There were so many pigs just, whoo, you know, around that feeder. I mean, we couldn't really tell or do anything, man. Dude, not bad, though. What do you think you about? 60 pounds? Uh, 40. 40. 50. Mm. Pick him up. See. See how much you think he weighs. That might be. That's a good cooking pig right there. Mm, I don't know, man. He might be a little heavier. He, he's freaking <laughs> sprawled out once you picked him up. <sighs> Let me see. What do you think, B? So Leah, my, my German Shepherd puppy, she's, I think two weeks ago was 40 pounds. So now she's right at 50. So I pick her up a lot. I'm telling you, man. That's a 70 pound pig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they carry weight so heavy. They do. They are so tough. Flip them over. I want to see the other side. See if he was quartering or what. Oh, yeah. No, you hit him right there. That was the X over there. You happy with the shot? Yeah, that's a killer shot. Thanks. Dude. Buddy. Hell yeah. Not a bad one though. I nah. mean, for what we had, man, the way this hunt went. Yeah. The, the spotted stock was so cool. Yeah. So cool. I just wish we could have got the big pig out. It's of that it. little fucker that spotted us. He walked out <laughs> in the middle of the path. He did. He walked out, he looked at us, and I look at Peter, and he just like, goes oink <laughs> and runs off. Smallest like, one too. Probably I was like, all right, pounds. maybe none of the others will pay him any attention. But then they started kind of catching on to it. The vibe. He caught the vibe. Yeah. Bro. And then we vibe checked that guy. <laughs> Stu, man, if we didn't get one, we wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, right. Are we dragging this joker back to the defender? Yeah, you got it. Get the 
the dragon, Peter. Or carrying one or the other. It don't matter. But uh, yeah, you're in about 45, 50 yards. Peter's first pig. Now we're really wanting to get him on the big pig because he was wanting to get it mounted. But uh, I'm sure we won't mount this little dude. But uh, any dead pig's a good pig. Better get used to that, Peter. Oh, yeah. I'm going to shoot a couple this week. <laughs> so, Peter. Yeah, man. Got you on your first. Hold on, I'm out of breath. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on your first deer. Which first was a deer? Nice buck. Big buck. I got yeah. you on a pig. It wasn't a big pig, but it was a spot. Dude, it stock. doesn't matter, man. We it did it right. Stock. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it that is. That was dope, dude. We made it happen. Made it happen. I don't think we got on camera that pig getting shot because we were shooting through this brush so heavily. But we got the GoPros on. It was pretty cool. I wish my gun would have went off. Probably would have another one. So when they came across, they started running off this direction. And I was like, I might as well send some. But then the gun jammed and I rammed it. And then they come right across in front of me. And uh, they were right smack perfect, bro. 30 yards, walking, you know, five, six, seven miles an hour. Could have dropped one, son. But I actually need to go ahead and get some cameras set up at this feeder. My camera, for some reason, the Moultrie, it stops sending pictures. I think the battery died extremely early. I don't know if I had a bad battery or what. Gotta get a new camera up. And uh, I guess let's head back to the truck and uh, figure out what we're gonna do. I guess we got barbecue, baby. What'd you think, Peter? All right, let's get this thing loaded up. Yeah, let's throw them in the back. Get her in the back. Let's get her in. Yeah. <laughs> Oh this yeah. This little piggy went you to market. This little piggy's tired. <laughs> well boys, we just finished up getting pictures with this hoggy. We are back at the clubhouse. Little spot and stock yeah, action, what, is, eh? what do you think, man? Yeah, if you guys want to go check out Peter's video, his video will be linked down in the description. Peter, you're almost at 30k subs, right? Almost 30, bro. Guys, go get him to 30k subs. You freaking drilled him, dude. Absolutely dude. smoked him. Uh, I'll be honest. A little nervous in the shot because we didn't yeah. see any blood. But I know I put it where I needed to be yeah. and we just had to look the a little scar harder. did it. Now as of the new gun, the gun we're supposed to shoot a pig with, the Tavor. So far from using it, not too big of a fan of the trigger, but it is a bull pump. What can you expect? And then that one malfunction when I needed it most, but hey, you know, it happens. Shit's gonna go down, all right? But it was an absolute ball today. We went to multiple pawn shops. Big thank you to all the pawn shops that we went and filmed at today. American Gun and Pawn, Beltway, and Thad, bro. Anton's. If you guys want to go check out Anton's, he's new in town. Dude has been killing it bro i'm telling you if you want a suppressor that's got to go to he literally opened up the store today just for us bro i feel so special but if you guys ever in north carolina in the monroe charlotte area go check him out i'll have his social medias linked in the description too but uh yeah guys everyone's been saying you wanted more hog hunting so there was a little mix of a day in the life and uh spot and stock so if you guys would please hit the thumbs up button this took sun up to sun down to film and that gun wasn't cheap but i figured you guys would like it so if you guys would hit the thumbs up button like and subscribe if you guys want to see more pawn shop videos guys want to see more hog hunts put it down in the comments guys i'll catch y'all on the next one